We do indeed. It's still in a bit of a thicket at this stage. It's not ideal where he is, and I can't get any further forward than where we are. So we're going to have to just see if he doesn't move around a bit. He's not exactly very static at this stage. He's looking around and sort of checking what's happening. And so I would imagine that he is going to move for us again. So while he's just behind that little bush, there's unfortunately just one leaf that is in the way. Craig, I can maybe try... No, it's not going to work. Unfortunately, I've got a huge fallen over leadwood in front of me, so I'm not going to be able to push any further than what we are, but he's going to lie down anyway. So it's amazing how well he camouflages, and I laugh because we had a vehicle that drove right past him just now and didn't even notice that he was there, so it was good that we at least had the right angle that we spotted him when he was lying right out in the open. Now when he's lying like this, it would have been a lot harder to have spotted him. That spotted coat would have blended in. And shames. It seems like he's had a long afternoon because he's now gone back to sleep. I thought he might move around a bit. He seems as though he was going to. He looked quite wide awake and he was curious and sniffing. But I think maybe where he was lying next to the water there, there's a lot of mud. And that mud attracts a lot of flies and a lot of insects. And that's maybe why he did move is because those flies and insects were irritating him. He was constantly flicking his ears and his tail. And as he was walking here, his tail was whipping up and down all the time. And so he was getting a little irritated and grumpy with all the insects about. So I think that's why he moved off a little bit into the thicket. But it seems as though he's not getting much respite. As you can see, he's still being chased about and ears are still flicking. But isn't that cool? What a nice surprise. Sparkle, you're asking why is he alone? Well, Sparkle, he's alone because this is how leopards live. They are the only true solitary cat that we get in this part of the world, well, in, in Africa. So you'll find cheetahs will be on their own from time to time, but that's normally mothers or females that don't have young ones. But other than them, the leopard is the only true solitary one. And with them, the females... I mean, the leopards, they spend time on their own because, well, that's how they move around. They like to be sh quiet, reclusive animals that move through thickets, and being part of a pride doesn't really lend itself to living in environments like that. The other side of it is is that, unfortunately with him, if you do know his background, is we call him the Prince of Juma because his father is Tingana and his mother was Karula. Now Karula was the queen of this area. She was a leopard that was around for many years and she became very famous and her she actually disappeared around the beginning of the year and it meant that Hosanna and his sister Shongile were unfortunately left by themselves and now they've had to deal with life on their own and because they've now left their mother the two of them have split apart and are no longer spending that much time in each other's company. They're actually sort of taking it very easy with one another and you find that they will go and, and kind of see each other from time to time but other than that they're not too concerned about one another's presence and they'll move around and do their own thing and completely sort of have their own lives now which is very cool and so we're going to end up with two leopards that will move around in this section and unfortunately for him being a young male he's going to get to the point where life is going to get a little difficult for him you're going to find that the bigger males like Tingana, even though it's his dad, is actually going to push him away. And we're going to have a situation where he's, unfortunately, in all likelihood, going to have to move out of this area and become a, lip, a dominant leopard somewhere else. So it's going to be a long time until he's actually dominant somewhere. So, Lisa, you are wondering if Hosanna's lighter color of his coat, so he does have a, a bit of a light coat, you're wondering if this would affect his hunting at all. Well, Lisa, probably not, because it seems as though little Hosanna has done just fine on his own. He's taken to life by himself like a duck to water. He has made a number of big kills. We've seen him killing Impala, Stiernbok, Daika. Well, not personally seen him, but we know that he has been seen with those carcasses he's also taken lots of monitor lizards and so he seems to be able to hunt just fine also this time of the year a lighter colored coat is not the worst thing remember that it is winter which means the vegetation that he's in now is green around water but we go away from this watery area and the vegetation is brown light shades of tan colors and that really helps him to actually blend in very well so even though he's a lighter color now in winter it won't matter too much and even in the summer months if you look at that 
Yes, we're seeing the white coloration of his tummy, but those spots really do help break him up. And if he went just to the right behind that little thicket, it would be very difficult for us to see him. So his lighter color is not going to make too much of a difference, and he's not the lightest leopard I've ever seen either. I mean, Safari, who was Karula's mother, I mean, she was very old, around 19. She lost quite a bit of her color, and she actually got quite gray in coloration. And so they do actually get lighter than this, and when they are lighter, it doesn't necessarily mean that they will actually lose any effectiveness when coming to hunting they're still able to blend really well the spots are what makes the big difference and just helps break up the outline and make sure that they are okay now our little hoy is having an afternoon nap and is not nearly as playful as the big pachyderms so let's go across to them and see what they're up to and hopefully by the time you come back the will be playing too <laughs> 